Manitou, I have plans for you. Let's do this. Howdy everyone, I'm Scott Free For All here. Yes, we do have plans for the Manitou. Um, it has to do with getting these bales off the field. However, let's check in with where we are. So our silage is only 5% fermented. We're may, we may have to give some hay to our cows. But first things first, we're almost out of money. And we're going to need some. The good news is we've got lots of milk. Almost 28,000 liters from these ladies and another 16 over here. So let's get our milk pickup set up. I'm first going to just make sure I don't have anything in the way of the auto drive route. Because I am going to put this on auto drive. It looks like we're good. I'm going to shut this door just to make sure these don't get in the way. All right, now let's head over to our milk truck. Here we are. We'll do cow barn five milk first. Let's just turn that guy on, let him do his thing. And while they're doing that, Let's get back to what we've got going on here. Now, we don't have very far to take these bales. I consider just using my bucket and pushing them into the hayloft. Um, I'll show you what that, what that looks like. So yeah, can it be done? Yes. Is it cost and time effective? Mm, not really. I'll put one in there just to show you that I can do it. And there goes our milk truck. So yeah, can be done. However, I want to properly outfit this telehandler with a bale fork. And what we've been doing previously is just using our front loader and some um, pallet forks, not the best way to go about it. So here's what I'm looking at doing under telehandlers or telehandler tools, go over here. CSZ pack has this. So yeah, these guys can automatically load bales. So for $700, we can buy one of these, um, I don't think we need the hydraulic reclining tips. Not really necessary, as long as we have that automatic mode. So we can already afford this. Let's go ahead and pick that up. And there is our milk being sold. Wonderful. Can I hook up? trailer to this Mahindra. I'm going to find out. I just realized I had time stop, so I turned it on. Um, does that work? Sure. Yeah, it works. Let's head over to the dealership and let's pick up those uh, that bell spike. All right, we are here. I 
I believe that I sold my Ford pickup truck so we could buy, might have been that tractor. Anyway, I'm kind of missing it already. <laughs> Having to hook up our trailer to the Mahindra, it's uh, not quite an ideal situation. But for, for a bell spike, I think it'll be all right. Let's head on in and buy some stuff. Telehandler tools. Telehandler. Length of tips I don't think matters. We'll do automatic. Do we need a middle spike? It looks kind of cool for 50 uh, euros, sure. And we want, uh, let's see, two, two. As long as we do that, it'll be fine. Working with, I think, is also fine. Okay, let's buy that. We've got plenty of money now that we've sold that milk. All right, there we bought it, and looks like we've sold yet some more milk, so that's wonderful. Let's head out here. Let's get this loaded up. Don't judge me for using uh, super strength, okay? All right. Well, we've got it loaded up. <laughs> There's no collision on the on the um, on the spikes. There's no collision on the spikes, so it looks a little weird. <laughs> we'll go ahead and strap it down. Let's head back to the shop. All right. I had forgotten that we mowed this small grass field back here and we have not picked it up yet if we have time i'll do it in this episode if not i may just do it off camera you've seen me uh pick up a lot of grass already all right back at the farm We'll get these bales picked up. So what I plan to do is uh, we're going to advance the day after we get these hay bales all done. And then our next goal is to put some poop on these grass fields. We've got a lot of slurry. And we've got a slurry spreader, so we're probably going to start there. We don't have a manure spreader yet. But that's going to change. Let's... Get this off the trailer. I'm just going to super strength it off. And let's see if we can set this straight up. Yeah, we can. All right. Let's get this attached to the Mahindra. Let's get some bales in the shed. see where we're we gonna put this bucket for now I will put it put it over here Now, the way this the way this spell spike works is it's kind of like an auto loader. You can put it into an operating position. And if you go up to a bale, it loads it. So, it's essentially a two bale auto load trailer disguised as a bale spike. Let's see, and then we have to do that. Now, I can't remember if it knocks me out of operating position or not. Let's find out. Yeah, it does. So we need to enable that each time. Okay, I think I got it now. It shouldn't take too long. 
Let me clear off the screen a bit. There we go. Yeah, this is way faster than loading onto a trailer and not quite as fast as an auto load trailer, which we might get in the future. All right, now there's this big bump right here. I need to fix fix this. Eh, it's not as bad as I thought. Never mind. This almost feels like cheating. Maybe it is. I don't know. You let me know. Okay, I know I said I wouldn't do speedies, but we have a lot of redundant work to do, so let me speed up things for you a little bit. I'll be back with you soon. I just remembered our cows are probably going to need some of this hay. Let's head over to one of the cattle uh, pens. Let's see who needs it the most. Uh, they're at 37. They're at 41. You know, um, I don't know that neither of them has, has to get it, but we'll take it to the larger pen because they're going to run out sooner since there's almost twice as many cows. So for this Mahindra, there's three different cameras. There's uh, in-cab. There is focused on the spikes. And then there's the uh, focused on the cab. Sometimes I get confused. I can't remember which which camera I'm on. All right, we'll drop these off. All right. 
We'll take that last bale over to the other cattle pen. Just for some insurance. Excellent. I really need to come up with a place to put my implements. I could put them along here. It's not a bad idea. Let's uh, clear this out with some little landscaping, a little, little painting. this all right I think that's gonna work there we go that'll work for now maybe I'll get a uh a shelf where I can put them on a shelf. I like doing that. Okay, I'm gonna leave this right here for right now. It is poop time, guys. Let's save the game. All right, let's check our milk production. I think we've gotten everything out of here let's see let me let me back up let's see if we can get this picked up now we're doing it all right. Um, oh, I have this set on one. I do not want it set on one. I want it set on infinite. There. Okay. That may have been why it only, it only did it once. Okay, good. Let's check out our slurry tank. Right there. Okay, now. Can I squeeze through here? You know, it looks like I can. All right, let's get our slurry spreader filled up. All right. Yeah, we can do that. That's not a problem. Now, I haven't really looked at our pH value. It says our pH value is good. I'm just going to go with that. I have, over time, come to the realization that spreading lime every time is kind of wasted effort. Let me know if you agree. All right. Let's Let's see how we're doing. So far so good. Uh we're spreading How wide was this thing? I can't remember, guys. I can't remember. We're 
we're spreading fairly lightly. 60 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare is what this says. What did I do? Eh. I'm not going to worry too much about hitting just every single one. Not bad coverage. We almost got all the way around. So this is going to take a few reps for sure. Uh, what's going to be our fastest way to get around? I think it's going to be to go through here and... You know what? I think I'm going to come in... I'm going to sneak in through here, and we'll just fill it up right here, and I'm going to hope that this is a really big fill trigger. It looks like it's nice, healthy size, so that's good. I realize I don't need this big tractor to spread poop. Kind of like I said last time uh, with the baler, <laughs> this tractor is a bit overkill. All right, where did I leave off? Ah, I see it now, right here. But what I'm going to do when I start up this time is I'm going to come way back in here, see if I can get this corner uh, fertilized. Um, uh, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to stay out here a ways just so I can make sure I'm on a good trajectory. There is nothing like free poop to spread as fertilizer on your field. Fertilizer is not cheap, guys. Now, I don't know if this is true in real farming practice. Uh, farmers out there, let me know. But what I tend to do is I will spread manure and slurry on grass fields. I have no problem with that. But I have an aversion to spreading poop on um, crops that are going to be consumed by humans. So corn's probably fine. Um, that's either going to be made into ethanol or uh, it's going to be fed to a livestock. Yeah, it would be nice to trim back this. I'm going to get my um I'm going to get my chainsaw out one of these days. Now, I haven't seen much out of our uh our milk truck. Let me just check that out. Okay, so it looks like there is nothing left there. So, I'm going to tell our driver to go to cow barn is it for milk yes it is and I'm gonna say get over there now he may he may have to go all the way to the dairy and then come back and that's fine whatever you need to do but we do need to get our milk picked up we do need to get our milk picked up all right, where'd I leave off? 
wasn't that far away. Let's get, kind of come out here. Ah, uh, here, here I am. Now I could GPS this, but I don't have that many more asses, to be honest. I'll just continue to freehand this. We'll be just fine. So we're pulling slurry out of the large cow pen. Uh, we've got quite a bit of slurry there. I think we've got quite a bit of slurry in the other one too. So we're not going to run out. All right, good. We've got that last bit. Um, I will... Make a run around here. And I don't want to meet... Leave, I, I don't want to leave a gap, but I also don't want to overlap my slurry that much. And we're done. Okay. A lot of times when I set myself up for using slurry to fertilize fields. I'll uh, purchase a slurry tank uh, for transport. But because we're so close to our cow pens with these grass fields, there's really no need. It's not that much more of a drive. Now, where is, okay, here we are. Let me get this little bit right here. There we go. Can I get, yes I can. Yes I can, awesome. All right. All right, there's more of our milk sold. Our money is going up, folks, and we need it. We need a manure spreader. I've already eyed one, found one. It's not cheap though, folks, but it's uh, it's gonna be a nice fit for this uh, farm. Okay, how are we doing? Let's take a step up in the air. Let's see, did we miss anything? I think there's, ah, right here this all right and what do we have got 40 percent left okay <laughs> there's our milk truck i think what i'm going to do since this feels a bit oddly shaped i'm going to cut this part off and then um, once we get this all done, I'm going to slurry around that uh, pond. Of course, we're gonna do it very carefully as to not put poop into the pond. We don't wanna kill off our wildlife, our pond life. Let's see, I should go through here. Now, we will upgrade our slurry spreader at some point. I mean, it would be a lot nicer to have, you know, triple the capacity that we have right now. 
and triple the span, double the span. But that's a that's probably over a hundred thousand um, dollars, and maybe more if I remember correctly. So that is a ways down the road, and it'll be when we have much larger fields to deal with. All right. We are finally at Cow Barn 4. Whoops. I did not turn on my spreader. Let's try that again. Okay. Get that little piece that I missed. Okay, and... Fill that off. Now the nice thing about precision farming is when you're spreading things like lime and fertilizer and slurry, it only spreads where there's uh, a need to spread it. If, if there's no need to spread it, you're not going to waste it. I mean, it's not very realistic because, see, there's nothing coming out. I can just sit here. Nothing's coming out. All right, let's get set up to go around this pond. Oof. All right, let's try that again. Okay. Okay, now I think, okay, it did, it did fill out a little bit more that time, and let's see if I can get this spot right here, okay, I said I wasn't going to be that concerned about getting every little bit, but apparently I am, I guess I should know myself better. Is that let's get back over to get some more slurry okay so this holds only 8,200 uh, liters and the spread on this guy is 15 meters I mean, not horrible. Also, as I said earlier, we didn't have to pay for this slurry spreader. It was given to us as part of new farmer mode. All right, I think I'm just going to head up this way. All right. Spread more poop. Let's just check on all of our milk levels. So here we're down to 9,000. Here we're down to 10,000. Okay. Um, where is Mr. Milk Truck? Now, why, why are you way up here? What if we, what if we put you here? Because there is more milk to get. It should start picking up, right? Yeah. 
I'll get the bugs out of that at a later time. Guys, we emptied the uh, first cow pen. Okay. Nothing to worry about because we've got a whole other cow pen worth of slurry. And we are almost done with this anyway. Let's see, there's just this little area here. Really not that much left. So close, so close. Okay, we can't stop here. We have to go get that last bit. Okay, folks, I think I found it now. I think it's this right here. And it is, okay, great. All right, we'll just do a loop around. We'll get this spread on the field. And I think that may do it for this episode, folks. Let me go into here. Let's set up our nitrogen. Let's see what we got. Yeah, so it looks like I missed a little bit right here, and then I missed this patch right here. So I'll see if I can pick that up. I'm not going to worry about those other little red specks. Except for that one. Okay, and then I think there was a spot over here. Huh? I don't see a missed spot. Don't see a missed spot, guys. All right, we're going to call that done. Look at all that manure that we have at our disposal. That's excellent. All right, folks. Well, thank you for joining me today. I will see you next time. We'll take care of that small field on the back side of the farm. Uh, we'll sell some more of our dairy. And I don't know. We'll do something exciting. All right. Well, until next time, I'm Scott Free For All. See you later.